Hey guys, we're here. Welcome to Applied Ballistics. Today we're going to be doing a muzzle brake test on this guy, the Grand Power Strybog. The Strybog is a uh, basically a sub gun. It's a small nine millimeter uh, carbine-ish pistol. And uh, each one of these has a brace. We've got two different guns today, so we're gonna be able to do some not pretty nice heads up swapping between the two. So what we've got here, uh, we've got our two Strybogs. This one has no muzzle brake on the end. This is just the stock thread protector. Strybog number dose has a Volker precision brake on the end. This is a, what, four, po four port brake. All the ports are up on the top, so they're gonna be blasting all up on the top. And then lastly, we're gonna be taking off the thread protector of the uh, no muzzle brake one, and we're gonna be putting on this, the HB Industries brake. The HB Industries brake is a 360 degree brake. It means it's got ports all the way around the barrel. So first up, thanks goes to Applied Ballistics for letting us use the range. We gotta thank um, Global Ordnance for providing this. Can munition. <laughs> um, this stuff is actually pretty nifty. It is uh, 90 rounds each of the OP 9mm, 115 grain in a sealed can. Um, these things, when you open them, it actually sounds like you're opening a uh, bottle of pop. And then I do have to thank Volker Precision for uh, donating their brake and HP Industries for donating theirs. So that's right, both of those brakes I did get for free to be able to do this testing with. So first up, let's go ahead and grab some ammo. I've got 10 rounds to be able to run through our bone stock Strybog with no muzzle brake. So let's go ahead and do the deed here. We get to a point where you guys can actually see me. And let's run some rounds down range. Maybe adjust this just a little bit. Okay, that'll work. All right, so I'm not going for accuracy. I'm just focusing on how much felt reload I'm getting. Uh, again, this is a no muzzle break version. Break list version. Now let's go ahead and grab the uh, precision muzzle brake. Now this brake, again, is a four, po four port brake. I can't say port today. And those ports are all pointing up. Uh, you might be able to see it in the video. I'm not sure. We'll find out here in a minute. Okay. with that one. Um, I'm going to go back and I'm going to do the no break, then I'm going to do the break one, and we'll kind of sum up in for just a little bit on those. Uh, so let me go ahead and grab this one. Okay. Break actually does significantly more than I thought it was going to do. Um, there is a noticeable difference in felt recoil uh, with the Volker Precision Brake. A little bit less muzzle rise, not a whole lot, but um, the muzzle rise isn't really, it's the jab in the shoulder. The straight log isn't like, it's not like shooting a 16 inch sub gun. Uh, you do feel it. Uh, it's not like shooting a 22 by any means. So um, it's really, it is nice. Uh, it keeps the muzzle nice and low. Uh, I'm going to take just a couple more shots and see how. Okay, yeah. Yes, uh, follow up shots are significantly quicker uh, with the precision. Okay, so now let's go ahead and pull off the thread uh, protector here on our second bog. I'm going to go ahead and drop the mag. I'll show you guys, there is nothing in the chamber. We are empty. That way, I don't freak out when I start sticking my hands on the muzzle device here. Okay, stock device is off. Good, sit that down. Let's grab the HB Industries version now. So the HB Industries one is nice because it does come with, the camera, comes with an O-ring inside in there. The Volker Precision does not come with an O-ring. It comes with, uh, with a set of spacers that you do have to, you don't have to space it out. I actually um, added a washer to mine. I like washer, or not washer. I like um, O-rings a lot uh, as long as it keeps the, um, as long as it stays on there, and it's done a really good job of keeping, man, this thing does not want to go on. Uh, it's done a really good job of keeping that on there. So let me do this, that um, 
that O-ring is getting in the way and not letting me get the thread started. Ha ha ha! Okay. So I got a punch that I can stick down through here. And screw this on with. Okay. There we go. Ha ha! Okay. So now we've got the HB brake back on. And we're gonna test the HB brake up against the Volker brake. So again, the HB brake is a 365 degree brake. It breaks all the way around the nozzle. And the HB, or and the Volker brake is a top forward brake, just breaks up. So <laughs> my prediction would be that the Volker brake is going to keep the shooting more level. And the, uh, what's the other one? Uh, the HB Industries brake will decrease the impulse a little bit. Um, that's close enough. Let's go ahead and shoot this thing. Okay. And send that home. Let's send some rounds down. through this one. Yep, my prediction is right. Recoil force with the HB Industries, slightly less. Muzzle rise with the Volker, slightly less. Um, so we're looking at, I'll have links down in the description for both of these. Um, you can also check out the links to these on workthetrigger.com. I'm going to take some more shots. Um, we'll do some just rapid shots with them. Let me make sure I've got enough ammo here. So this one's got two. Let's go ahead and toss ten rounds or take ten rounds in each. Two, three, four, seven, And we got 10 rounds on that one. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to run 10 rounds down range. I'm gonna do uh, out of each one. Um, I've got a target sitting out there at, now it's at 10 yards. As I said, I wasn't practicing uh, accurately before I was just shooting. So we got a, a uh, target out there at 10 yards. We're going to go through those 10 rounds in as fast as I'm comfortable trying to get them on the target. Then I'll pull the target back and we'll take a look and see kind of how accurate they are. And I'm not going to be able to time them just because I'm shooting. But we'll kind of see what we can do. Uh, so let's go ahead and get this started. Ten rounds. Ready? All right. That was ten rounds through the Volker. Now let's do ten rounds through the HB Industries. End it. I had one there that was off. That was me. Um, I'll admit that. Let's go ahead and pull this back. Let's take a look. See what they look like. Okay. So I'm gonna unscrew you guys here for a second. Hopefully without screwing up. Nope. No. Nope, no. Nope, no. Nope. There we go. Okay. And here's what we've got. This is the Volker, this is the HBI. Really, we're looking at about the same. I feel like my cadence with the two is the same. So really, you're probably looking at about the same with both of them. Um, but they are both most definitely better than stock. The recoil impulse is significantly decreased. The uh, Again, with the Volker, the muzzle rise is a little bit less than with the HBI. With the HBI, the impulse is a little bit less than with the Volker, but both are dramatic improvements over what the uh, stock no muzzle brake is. So, thanks guys for watching. I figured I'd just bring you out to the range for a little bit, show you guys kind of what we've been working on lately. Uh, again, thanks goes out to Global Ordnance for the ammo. Thanks goes to Applied Ballistics for the range. Thanks goes to Volker for the uh, their muzzle brake and HBI for theirs as well. You guys are awesome and I couldn't do what I do without you or the viewers. Thank you guys for watching these videos. Without you guys, none of these companies are really crap about what I say. So, with that being said, thank you very much, guys. Remember, I appreciate every one of you. And until next time, do your research, get informed.